Hey, how you doing? Um, let me get the microphone over here. Hey, how you doing? This is another video blog for January the 26th, 2008. Uh, first of all, I want to talk about kids flying down my alley. You're probably wondering what that's all about. Um, okay, here's the situation. We have an alley here right behind my apartment. And there's a lot of neighbors that live on, like here's my side, okay, there's one on this side and one on the other side, okay. And they're always backing out of their driveways. And I sometimes back out of my driveway and into the alley to go down the alley to get somewhere. Well, every Friday, these kids get on their four-wheeler. Well, it's just one guy that's doing it, I guess. He gets on his four-wheeler and he's down he's across the street down one alley and he you know he spins and kicks up gravel and all that bullshit and then he comes flying down our alley and then he spins around and kicks up gravel and takes off and goes down their alley and does the same routine for up to about 45 minutes to an hour well here's the problem I have with it I don't have a problem with people having fun on their four-wheelers but if you're gonna have fun on your four-wheelers you gotta do it out in the country see you gotta realize that where we live the alley where he's doing this at people are always backing out of their driveways and going down the alley to go somewhere well what he doesn't realize is if you keep doing that, if you're going down the alley really fast, and I'm talking about fast, flying through there, kicking up gravel and whatever, first of all, you're ruining the gravel, okay? You're ruining the alley. You're going to turn it to mud is what you're going to end up eventually doing. Secondly, if you're coming through there, flying through the alley like you do, and someone's backing out of their driveway, or let's say I have a carport and I'm pulling out of that carport naturally when I pull out of the carport I, I look before I pull out but you know sometimes if someone's going through there real fast and you're pulling out of your carport you're gonna hit them or they're gonna hit you you cannot fly through these alleys like a bat out of hell it does not work that way you do someone's gonna end up hitting you then what are you gonna do you know what I mean it's not so much I have a problem with somebody on their four-wheeler having a little fun but you gotta realize this is a public alley public alleyway and when you're coming out of a public alley alleyway the respectful thing to do is to slow down <clears throat> not only that but we there's kids in this neighborhood and those kids play outside all the time and that they're gonna go out in the alley and they're gonna be playing or whatever and they're gonna cross across the alley to play and one of these days somebody's gonna come flying out through there and hit one of those kids then how are they gonna feel so that's my complaint about that I want your comments on it please I mean it's one thing if you want to ride your four-wheeler that's fine you want to go out to the country where there's a lot of open land a lot of private land where you're not gonna have accidents you're not gonna have kids walking out in front of you or whatever then that's fine I got no no problem with that you know it's just the fact that it's a public alleyway and there are kids that play in our neighborhood and they do cross that alleyway quite a bit and there are people that back out of their driveway and drive down that alley you know there's two ends to it there's you know down here and down here and there's two other alleys that connect well they they don't connect you gotta cross um, you gotta cross one roadway to get to the other one you gotta cross another roadway well there's another danger if you're flying through that alley and you get onto that other roadway 
you know there's people there's traffic going both ways so that's very dangerous another complaint I have is more of a headache complaint I got sinus pressure building up right here and right here and all through my whole head so there's a lot of stuff going on up there I, I complained about this problem last night I took some Tylenol and I took some Excedrin. None of that helped. None of it. You hear that? You can hear the drainage. Oh, it's terrible, man. One thing I think is from going out in the cold and then you come out in a heated area and that will mess with your sinuses sometimes. But also, uh, I got a new movie coming out. It's a new He-Man movie. There's going to be a whole series of these He-Man movies.